Sure. Okay. Yeah. All right. I will see you in just one second then. Okay. Later. I am back in Manhattan, about to meet Guy Yadweb, who earlier this week covered Alligator Summer with me, uh, to see another show. Uh, this time we're seeing Ghost of Dracula at the Connolly Theatre, uh, also part of the New York City Fringe Festival. And I'm meeting him just now in Tompkins Square Park, where I shot our Walk in the Park video. Hello, Mr. Yedweb. Are you uh, ready to orange hat again? I am always ready to orange hat. <laughs> right, so just what did you guys feel coming out of the theater? What's. I feel, uh, I feel shocked. Good. <laughs> Good. It was a lot of fun to watch. It was really funny and really unique, and it was it was a really good time. It was clear that the actors were having fun. Oh, just I for, felt for... so terrified that the ghost of Dracula was behind me the whole time. I feel in awe of the performances. <laughs> They're really good. It's the first show of Fringe I've seen that really has the whole, you know, all the emotions in there. Just really, it's a full body experience. Just you know, a fun hour or so in the theater. I felt I felt the the anger and the fear and the betrayal and the heartbreak. Well, they were really on. They were on yeah. fire. Too. They were on fire. Fantastic, Watch out. The voice was really fun of Dracula and like the projected images and everything that just it, was, it added a lot to the show. What do you think is gonna stick with you? What's gonna stick with me? Um, probably like the fun relating of like <laughs> the audience interaction. Eric Kruger's penis is going to stick in me like it sticks in Kylie McQuayle's vagina. The surprise of certain audience members being in on it, like when the first front row of women just all suddenly collapsed and died, that was pretty fun. You know, it wasn't boring ever, and it was a good time. <laughs> it's very silly. That the audience is there, and we're like participating, and we want to be part of it. Two thumbs up. Two plus. He goes to Dracula every day, all the time. Goes to Dracula, 2010. Okay, so I just got out of the vampire yeah. show. Yeah. I forget what it's called. So that's not going to stick with me. But I never knew what it was called in the first place. So, I mean, I went in thinking it was a musical. And the people in it can't sing. They know they can't sing. It's made a point that they can't sing. So they had that going for it, that they were honest. And they asked the audience to participate. Um, one girl went up and got blood all down her shirt front, but it was a t-shirt from the play, so she got a souvenir too. So if you're that one person that gets picked, you get a souvenir t-shirt covered in blood. So I guess she'll take that away from the play. I didn't get a t-shirt, so I won't take a t-shirt away. Um, they had a lot of fun up there. Lots of people were laughing. The guys next to me were like a little bit older in their 50s, like slouching in their seats, kind of saying they hated it. But you know, you'll, you'll hate it. Or you'll love it. <laughs> and that's what you'll take away. Don't don't add in that last one. <laughs> Alright. I feel uh I feel shocked. Good. I feel good. Really funny and really unique and it was it was a really good time. Clear that the actors were having fun. Oh, just for, I felt for... so terrified that the ghost of Dracula was behind me the whole time. I feel in awe of the performances. <laughs> They're really good. It has the whole, you know, all the emotions in there. Just really, like, it's a full body experience. It didn't necessarily have like any kind of message, <laughs> but it was just you know a fun hour or so in the theater. I felt I felt the the anger and the fear and the betrayal and the heartbreak. Well, they were really on. They were on yeah, fire. Too. They were on fire. It was absurd. It was out of control. Fantastic. Eric Williams. Watch out. Yeah. 
the voice was really fun and Dracula and like the projected images and everything that just, it, was, it added a lot to the show. You know, it wasn't boring ever and it was a good time. <laughs> it's very silly. That the audience is there and we're like participating and we want to be part of it. Two thumbs up. Two blows. He goes to Dracula every day all the time. Mr. Dracula, because of him.